Hello lovely Libras. First of all, happy, happy birthday. I hope this is going to be your very best year ever. The big news this month is that Jupiter, the planet of wealth, abundance, learning, growth, is going to change sign. It's going out of your sign and we'll move into Scorpio. But a little more about that very soon. The month starts out on the 5th with a full moon in Aries. So this is in your relationship house, lovely Libras. A lot happening in relationships this month. The full moon shines a light on a particular life area, this time relationships. So this can bring something to a head, something to light, something to fruition. Maybe you've been seeing somebody for a while and it becomes more serious. It can also bring about an ending or a completion. But it's giving you an opportunity with a full moon to see what's working, to see what isn't, and to make some constructive changes. And on the 11th of the month, this is when Jupiter moves into your second house of money, finance. And we'll stay there until November the 8th of 2018. So Jupiter in your second house can bring you great fortune financially, can bring you abundance because Jupiter magnifies whatever it touches. On the other hand, it can also encourage you to overspend, to be a little overconfident. So it's important to try to make sure you get the balance there. This is a wonderful time for learning a new skill, for developing one of your talents, and for becoming more self-confident, more assured in yourself. It's a great place to have Jupiter, it really is. So don't be concerned that it's gone out of your sight. Now on the 15th of the month, we've got Venus, woohoo, coming into your sign, your ruler into your sign, joining Mercury and Sun there. So this is just beautiful for you, Libras. It makes relationships easier, makes communications easier, makes your work easier. It's also a wonderful time for a makeover, getting your hair done, doing something really nice to pamper yourself. On the 18th of the month, uh, Mercury joins Jupiter in this second house of money. Wonderful time for uh, learning about how to use money. A good time to really learn and communicate an idea that you've got. Maybe even thinking about something for a while. This would be a good time to share it and to maybe write about it and get it out there. On the 19th of the month, we've got a glorious new moon in your sign, lovely Libras. So this is a wonderful time for new beginnings because on the 23rd, we've also got Mars coming into your sign. So look at all this activity in your first house here. New sense of identity, a new sense of self. Mars bringing you a burst of energy and it's, it's a beautiful combination, quite honestly. You couldn't really ask for much nicer than that for a new beginning and a nice setup uh, for this year to come. Because when it's birthday, your year really runs from towards the end of September into October to the following October. And finally, on the 24th of the month, the sun shining a light on your second house of money, once again, encouraging you to be confident and really put yourself out there a little more uh, in something that you really feel passionate about because chances are you're going to be successful. So happy birthday once again. Thank you for commenting, sharing, subscribing and you might want me to look at your personal chart and have a personal reading for this coming year to see what the aspects hold in store for you and how you can make best use of them. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.